So we'll just look at basically how we might split surfaces so we could apply loads and restraints and maybe glues within FEMAP or, or whatever finite elements we're using. So we're using modify surface break. Just pick the surface, you say, yeah, using a curve, pick the curve and that's it. And then it's, that's it, done. So if I highlight over the surfaces, you'll see they're now separate. And we just keep going. Pick the curve, accept, done. Yeah. Same again. Pick the curve, accept, and then we've done it. So there are now separate circles, as you can see. Then the next thing I tend to do is colour the model and then colour these surfaces in a unique colour so I can see them. Select the whole model. Change, pick whatever colour you want. I'm just modifying it slightly from that blue previously I've used, obviously. And there you go. Now, while you're still in the command, just pick the faces you want, and we'll make those different colour, something contrasting red, something like that. And that's it. So now I'm going to export this so I can read it into the finite element program. I'll just export it as a parasolid file because FEMAP is a parasolid modeler. I've already used the name before, so just overwrite what we've got. That's it. That's done with Key Creator. We'll just look at FEMAP. It says FEMAP. Obviously, we just do a file import. A couple of little things to be aware of. Um, when it comes in, there you go. You want this colours from file option, and you don't want to increment the colours. That's it. Okay, that, and it just read it in, and you see the colours are exactly the same as they were in Key Creator. And that's it.